Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is February 12, 2018. Today we are going to be viewing another double sunrise and some planet videos that just came in today from the Alaskan and Canadian Federal Aviation Weather Cams. These videos are raw, unedited footage. The first video we are looking at starts out at night time so the viewers can see the dimly lit eclipse concealing equipment. It's the only light on the horizon and if you look closely you'll see a small round center with straight wings coming out of both sides. Ten minutes later the concealer jet has risen above the horizon and two light sources are now visible over the mountain tops. The sunlight is now washing out the visibility of the concealing equipment and the two light sources become more prominent. One function of the concealing equipment is for the sunlight glare to completely engulf the celestial object next to it, which is what we are seeing in this frame. The sunlight begins to contort unnaturally. The unnatural shape becomes more pronounced. The artificial sunlight attempts to engulf the second rising celestial object in glare. Once both objects begin to peek over the mountaintop, it becomes clear that there are two completely separate orbs, one of which is our sun. The smaller one on the left is our sun. The larger one on the right is part of an approaching celestial system not mentioned in mainstream news. As the sun moves to the right, it passes behind the other glowing object. Another function of the eclipse concealing equipment is that an incredibly intense light shines in front of the sun. I call this the flashlight sun. The actual sun passes behind the eclipsing object, with the flashlight sun passing in front, tracking in perfect synchronization with the real sun, so that it's not obvious that there is a planet in front of the sun. Eventually, the sun emerges from the upper right corner of the second celestial object, completely engulfing the celestial object in glare, which is part of the concealment function. Actually, the second celestial object is much closer to the Earth than the Sun. This is part of the reason for its enormous size. Once the large orb has broken free of the glare, it is then obscured by a blurring mechanism, which is very effective at hiding celestial objects close to the Earth. Even though it is heavily blurred, it is still visible. However, it will soon become invisible by the blurring mechanism and the transparency caused by atmospheric chemicals. Here is a contrast enhanced picture of that celestial object which just rose up next to the sun this morning. Our next video shows a very odd shape of the sun viewed from Dolphin Manitoba camera. Most likely the eclipse concealing equipment is currently running causing this flashlight sun to appear very elongated. Our normal sun would never look like this. Our next video from Canada shows the flashlight sun passing in front of a celestial object so large that it takes nearly four hours to completely pass by the object. As soon as the real sun goes behind the massive eclipsing object, it appears to shrink to one quarter its previous size and the landscape suddenly darkens. Each frame of this video is 10 minutes. It takes nearly four full hours for the flashlight sun to pass over this incredibly huge object. Once passed, the real sun then emerges from behind and the landscape brightens instantly and the sun resumes its normal size then travels off to the right of the screen. Our next video demonstrates the black positioning indicator beam that is emitted from the black dot that sets in front of the sun and is part of the flashlight sun system. The black beam goes out to other equipment in waiting. Again, the sun appears to suddenly shrink to a quarter of its size and the real sun goes behind the hidden celestial object. The eclipse concealing equipment swings across the screen using several different methods of technology to hide the eclipse. 
this gigantic celestial object is successfully hidden by a combination of the equipment and the atmospheric chemicals. The next video is a demonstration of the black positioning indicator beam again. Reflections of the eclipse concealing equipment are also obvious from this camera located in Oliver, British Columbia, Canada. Once again, Reflections of the eclipse concealing jet swing across the field of view from right to left. Our next video shows two small moons following the sun. Of course, they're much closer to the earth than they are to the sun. This is viewed from the Chicamas Canyon Tower weather cam in Canada. Next, we see an enlargement of those two suns or two moons. One of them has distinct markings on it, making it easy to see that they are rotating as they travel through our space, following the sun. The planets we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when this system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text.